Take a seat, Sergeant Griffin. Now that you've completed your OSS training, we need you in active service. Immediately. In fact, tonight. One of our operatives has uncovered evidence of a top-secret Axis summit planned for tonight, somewhere in Singapore. We need to know what those bastards are up to. One of our Nisei operatives will make contact, a private first-class Tanaka. He'll brief you upon arrival. Additionally, the Limeys have an SOE operative underground there, a Major Bromley. He's kind of a wild card, so keep your eyes peeled. That's the mission. And remember, we're depending on you. Chiro Tanaka, Private First Class. Yeah, I'll be your guide and translator for our little midnight tour here. <laughs> We'd better get moving. The Colonel will have my hide if we're late. Okay, here's the intel I have on the summit. The Axis have taken over the best hotel in the city. Our Commander Shima is in charge of the whole thing. Nobody knows who he is or what his plan is, but security will be very tight. Rumor has it that a whole company of secret police work for him. Keep it mum. I'll do the talking. だれだ。なんのようだ。この方ホテルで島中佐との打ち合わせがありますドイツからあの重要な方です。確か。ああ、ドイツ帝国を担在。グテタグ。自分はちょっとドイツ行ってみたいと思ってたんですよ。島中
Shima's gonna turn the city upside down looking for us now. I'll go throw them off your trail. Lose them in the alleys and I'll meet you at the hotel. Lad, I thought I was done for.
Get a move on, lad! Major Philip Bromley, SOE, at your service. Arrived in 32, went underground when the bleeding Japs took over. Now, you were heading for that tea party at the hotel, right? Follow me. Have you there in no time. Tracking a certain German colonel in the hope of uh, relieving him of his unit. He should be passing through this very plaza. Here, lad, take this count from Mind the sharp points. When I get the word, toss him under the tires of the staff car. Now stuff him up right now. Secure his uniform and we'll be on our way. Right. Well, lad, this is about as far as I can safely go. Now, down here, you'll be outside the hotel right quick. But I'm not good at this farewell gap, so uh, good luck, mate. After the war, I owe you a nip or two of whiskey. Take this ammo. I've lost my gun anyway. Don't shoot! It's me, Tanaka! Oh boy. Swell uniform. 
A uh, little loose in the waist, but it'll do. Come on, Colonel Candler. We don't want you to be late. Your vehicle, sir. Griffin. Better start thinking in German. You're on, pal. Welcome to Singapore, Colonel Kendler. Now, if you would be so kind as to follow me. Enjoy your stay. Pleased to have impressed you, honored guests. As we Japanese form the Greater East Asia Core Prosperity Sphere, we have discovered much wealth in the other nations of the region. This gold will secure the future of Japan. But what of the present? The gold cannot buy more weapons or more ships. But what might it purchase? May I introduce you to General Borov? For a handsome reward, the General has assured me that soon there will be a new leader in Russia. One who can guarantee peace with Germany. Now, the German head of state would never accept this plan. But there are elements within his own high command who would strike him down and replace him with a man whose vision of the future is unclouded. Their representative has joined us. The imposter! What? What is this? That's my uniform! <laughs> then think I'll leave you with a sticky leg. <laughs> Oh, 
End of the line, lad. Hope you said your bloody prayers. Come on! Let's go! This information needs to get back to the OSS. Our only chance is to find out where the gold is and stop it from being moved. I think I still have a few friends in Burma. Along with successfully occupying much of the Pacific, the Japanese Golden Lily team began a systematic pillaging of Asian wealth. The team looted thousands of metric tons of gold and valuables from Chinese cities. The largest load was collected by General Yamashita after his conquest of Singapore, the repository of many hidden British and French assets. The one obstacle the Japanese faced was getting their hoard back to the homeland. At first, the enemy relied on naval transport. However, after Allied forces picked up on this tactic and began hitting the Emperor's Navy hard, the Japanese began securing their treasure in underground mines.